This video is going to look at the relationship between the number of bits and the number of patterns that are possible for the number of bits given. The simplest storage element is often referred to as a flip-flop. It is useful to think of a flip-flop as a schematic diagram as shown here, simply a box or an area into which you can store a bit. So when we consider a flip-flop, we can say a flip-flop can store a bit, and this bit can be a zero or it can be a one. Let's consider a pattern of bits. Bits can be grouped together to produce many different patterns. Let's consider a flip-flop and let's add to it another flip-flop. And now we can consider what bits can be placed in each of the flip-flops and how many patterns can be produced. Well, let's consider them. Both flip-flops can store a zero, as you can see. Another combination we can have is shown here. Another one, and finally, the last possible combination when you have two bits. Let's now consider three flip-flops joined together and how many different patterns can we have here? Well, we can have when they're all zero, we can have zero, zero, one, we can have zero, one, zero, and I'll just quickly go through all of the possible combinations of bits we can have when we have three storage areas three flip-flop storage areas as you can see in this example so let's move on now and look at the pattern of bits when we have just one flip-flop well we know it can be a zero and we also know it can be a one so there are two possible patterns when you just have a flip-flop if we now go on and look at when we have two flip-flops next to each other the number of patterns we can have is shown here and you can see there are four patterns possible let's have a look when we have three flip-flops together what we can have in terms of the number of patterns is shown here and if we consider how many we can get we can see we have eight binary patterns are possible when we have three flip-flops you should note that here we have two patterns, here we have four patterns, which is double the two patterns that appeared here, and of course here we have eight patterns, which is double four patterns that you can see here. So we have two, four, eight. There appears to be a doubling of the number of patterns we can have every time we add an extra flip-flop. So we should be able to predict how many patterns are possible when we have four flip-flops as you can see here we know three flip-flops gives us eight patterns when we have four it will double to 16 so let's see if that's the case well we can obviously start off when they're all zero and then if we watch we can see i'm including all of the patterns here until we get to the last one where they're all ones and you can see that 16 patterns are possible when you have four flip-flops grouped together as you can see in this example let's consider the case when we have one flip-flop what we know is one bit can store two binary patterns they can be a zero or a one when we take the one flip-flop and we add another so we now have the possibility of having two bit patterns the number of patterns you can get is four if I take the two and I add another flip-flop, then this gives us eight binary patterns. When I take the number of flip-flops and add another one, we're going to double from the eight to the 16. So we can say that four bits can store 16 binary patterns from four zeros all the way up to four ones with every combination in between. So if I take these four and add another bit, then if we look at what we had here, 16, and we know there's always a doubling when we add another bit, then it doesn't take much imagination to realise that when you have five bits, you're going to have 32 patterns possible, 32 binary patterns possible when you have five bits. If you're going to learn computer science, it's useful to remember this one, that four bits give you 16 binary patterns 
because you'll find that's useful when you're dealing with the hexadecimal number system. Another important number of bits is what we will see on the next slide. This is where we are going to have eight flip-flops, eight-bit patterns. Of course, another word for eight bits is a byte, and it's useful to memorize how many different bit patterns you can have with a byte. And we will find that the answer is eight bits, in other words, a byte, gives 256 possible binary patterns. Let's have a look at two of those. And we're looking at this one when they're all zero. And of course, we can carry on looking at all the other possible combinations. But the last combination is when they're all ones. Now, if we consider what values these are in our number system, well, obviously, all zeros is going to be equal to zero. And when they're all ones, we have 255. Now, here you need to bear in mind we go from naught to 255. And when you include the naught, that means you have 256 possible binary patterns. So it is important to remember what we have got here is a range from zero to 255 when we have a byte, and that makes 256 binary patterns. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.